Ladies, gentlemen, and Haradrim of all ages, with a new week comes new news in the world of Diablo 4. Entering the weekend, the developers left us with one final hotfix before taking a bit of a break, and it made massive changes to Forgotten Souls and their drop rates. We talked about this when the actual hotfix hit, but now that we've had the weekend to play with this and these new rates, I can officially say, holy crap, this made such a massive difference instantly. I am no longer more bottlenecked by Forgotten Souls than I am by Obdesite when trying to do masterworking, especially if you are at the point of being able to run bosses sort of on repeat, like the ladder bosses. You can farm loads of Forgotten Souls in a very short amount of time because of these. Aside from this, there was also a smaller client patch with some important bug fixes that hit right before the weekend that we actually didn't talk about, 2.0.2c. The main thing that this changes is fixes for Varshan's barrier to make it just a far less ruthlessly unkillable, and while this definitely has taken effect, you can feel the difference, there are still some instances where it feels like it just gives them such an insanely large barrier, then so much larger than it should be, and it makes it very difficult to kill if you aren't a spirit form. It's far less frequent than it used to be when this happens, but it still feels like it exists, so I would say just stay cautious, especially if you're on a hardcore character. Don't necessarily go into this until you know for sure that you're good. The other main fix was for a bunch of people who literally just could not log into the game at all. An error was starting to spread around, which just prevented people from going in, so they squashed it as quickly as they could. Then just some other various bug fixes happen in the patch. That covered then, there are a few other things to be aware of in the community, but they mostly center around one big topic, game updates. We know that there are more hotfixes planned in general, and we should expect one every couple of days really for the time being, but then there are a number of breadcrumbs to be followed towards a client patch that will be happening for the game relatively soon, and what might be a part of it. The specific patch then would be called 2.0.3. We see this reference to in responses about the Lilith Resplendent Spark bug, which makes her just not drop it for some people, and we've been told that when this is fixed, it will also retroactively apply to give people who have already killed Lilith their own Resplendent Spark. The other main thing that we are pretty certain about is the return of the undroppable items. Before the season started, a forum post went out by the devs warning us that four specific items had been disallowed from dropping or functioning in Season 6. Frostburn, Azerath, the Shroud of False Death, Mythic Unique Chest, and the Agile Wolf, Legendary Aspect for Druids. These were all causing some sort of problems, either for performance or for balance reasons, and were unable to be fixed before the season started, so what they did was just disable them from being able to drop for players before the patch hit. We've since been told then both that their return would be part of the first major client patch, and that they would be returning in patch 2.0.3, which means that 2.0.3 is the first major client patch, but you know, obviously, well, due to the general name of it going to a new number over previous patches, it could have been reasonable to assume it would be a major patch anyways, but this just confirms it. Then, as for the timing, there have been multiple responses about audio being bugged on consoles, with Spiritborn especially quite heavily, and this is obviously something that would require a client patch to actually correct, as a hotfix just couldn't really fix an issue like that, and we know that this fix is slated for some time within the next week or so, which stands to reason that this would line up with the theoretical 2.0.3. We could definitely say it makes sense to expect this major patch relatively soon as a result, meaning either this week or next week at the latest, I would say. Past that, something that we've seen response from is complaints about the Realm Walker seasonal events and how it's just sort of too long and very unfun to follow it across an entire desert or a tundra or whatever zone you happen to be in, taking multiple minutes just to start being fightable even to begin with. The main response is just that the team is looking into this. They are talking about it internally. We know that they've heard a lot of feedback about this and specifically this part of Realm Walkers. And so while I wouldn't say we should plan for changes to this in 2.0.3, I would say that it is a possibility that we will have changes to this. Outside of that, there's a whole other topic for something that may be addressed in a patch with a full-on number increase, which is balance. Specifically, balance focused around bugs. There are theoretically a few bugs that are making various classes weaker than they should be and hopefully could be fixed to make them stronger. As well, uh, well, you know, there's also Spiritborn, who has a number of bugs making them much, much stronger than they should be, like hundreds of times more damage than they should be doing. Like a Paragon node that is supposed to scale depending on maximum life, accidentally scaling based on your base life, which means that you can hit thousands of percent bonus damage by just stacking life as an actual affix, instead of what was originally intended to be capped at like a 33% damage bonus. So if you're wondering where Spiritborn Silly Damage is coming from, it's actually not purely because they wanted the expansion class to be strong, though I'm sure that is a part of it. It is heavily, 
heavily because of a number of different bugs that are overlapping and being smushed together by players. As well, there is the Evade Spiritborn build, which while not overly buggy in itself, is causing other players a bit of performance issues when used out in the open world. Lots of people saying that the lag it creates in something like Helltide can be unplayable if there's multiple Spiritborn with this build. I've not experienced it playing the build myself, but obviously it's different when it's other players' effects. The devs have always said that their goal is never to nerf something mid-season unless it is literally breaking the game, and so I would say it's not unlikely some sort of change could happen to this build in the upcoming patch as well. Whether it is something that changes the balance of it to make it shoot out less feathers but each one does more damage and compensation, or if they do just something like server-side to make it less taxing on people's computers. I don't know what the change is, but mostly what I hope is that if they fix this, they do it in a way that both makes it less of an issue for the people who are just trying to exist in the world, sure, I don't think that they should have this like drive-by lag storm destroying their PCs, but also I don't want them to ruin the build, either the functionality of it or the damage either. Evade Spiritborn as a concept is strong, but if you fix the bug that is boosting the rest of the builds with Viscous Shield, it wouldn't be an overpowered build. And importantly, it's just a really fun build concept to actually play. So I hope that whatever they do to this build doesn't just remove it from the game or remove it from being strong. That just about does it for today then everyone, a roundup of what's been going on the last few days in the world of Diablo 4, how we went into the weekend, the results of some recent changes, and the sort of expectations of what will be hitting the game over the next week or so. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye